Hello, and welcome back to Field and Skylines Let's Play White Farm, episode number eight. Still in October, we have rain coming, and like every episode so far, we got to do some quick shifting, and I'm probably going to have to spend some money. Um, here are those silage, those bales that we're turning into silage that I talked about from last episode. Here's a straw bale I'm going to have to move. And here's why. So, if we come in here, this barn um, will show. Uh, it's not showing. Let me make the settings show everything. I don't know why they're not. Oh, they are all on. So, why don't I see stuff? There we go. See, it says right there, cow shed with manure pit. Well, apparently that is not true because there's no manure anywhere in here. And I've been confused why we've not been getting any. And I did some research. Well, I went YouTubing looking for videos and there was some suggestions um, that there used to be, but then through an update, it got taken out and you need to place your own. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to play some manure pit, um, but I need to move some stuff. We're going to do that first. Then, um, while I was editing the last video, I was in this big rush last time to get the grass field. Let's run over there. Um, but we were in a big rush to get... Well, I was in a big rush to get this grass field seeded this month because... I thought this was the last month we'd be able to seed before the winter. However, because I, I was editing the last video, and I looked at the crop calendar closer, and for some reason, I got my lines mixed up, and I was reading the oil seed radish as that was the grass harvest. Um, but as you can see here clearly, we can plant grass next month. So instead, if our corn is ready, um, I'm going to harvest the corn instead um, however if the corn is not ready we will continue with the planting of the grass and um, do that first I want to get this the silo um, taken care of so that we can start collecting manure because that's gonna be very important for us um, we've been getting slurry uh, but just not manure so let's go ahead and let's hook up to what we need to hook up to so that we can place that. And I was, to be honest, um, I loaded a new white farm map just to test things out. Because I, I am, we are low on funds and I, we didn't have, I didn't want to waste money doing something that wasn't going to work. So I did test a couple options out. Um, so yeah, that's uh, where we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing some of this work to get ready to do that and I will be back once we're ready. Okay, so got all of that done and as you can see we cleared the way. Now I have the build menu open. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to choose silos and I was messing around in a different map and I tried a few different things. The first one I tried was it's a neat little mod that basically you just put down gosh there's lots of them. Here we go. Right here. It's 500 bucks and you can rotate it and you can just kind of put it anywhere and I tried putting it kind of in here and it kind of, it placed nicely. It collected manure but the problem was that gate right there is not wide enough for stuff to go through for easy pickup. And then I was trying to figure out a way to kind of just like fit it kind of in in here. But it really wasn't working very well um, because like it gets kind of close to the food and the way that it works like it would manure would be kind of going through the wall. Um, so I couldn't get this one really fit well inside of this area here so what I got working 
the best was there's this tiny little one for two thousand dollars that holds a lot it holds four million liters and it fits kind of nicely right in here um So the only problem with the trigger point, like I tried to do like, like this, which I thought would fit really nice, but that trigger point then kind of gets stuck in the wall. Um, so kind of thought maybe this way and just like a long path, but I would think like for realism, like if you're really mucking out a barn and putting manure in there, that curve there would be unrealistic to want to manage so what i came up with just kind of pushing it here up against the wall um trying to make it as close as possible i didn't want to line it all the way up with the edge of the gate there just in case it would interfere um so i think this is where i'm going to place it it should collect start collecting manure um, I know we only have five cows, so we're not going to get a lot. But, you know, we've lost manure for a couple months now. So there we go. It's placed. I'm going to store the manure wagon over here. And then we will move that. And then we will um, go check the corn and see if the corn's ready to harvest. And if it is, we're going to jump in the harvester and repair um we're gonna go ahead and repair the harvesting stuff so that we get a good yield and try to get that in before the rain because we look at weather we're supposed to be getting rain sometime today later so we want to try to get that done so let's unhook and then let's go pick up the manure spreader and I think we can store the bale trailer here I left the grass on it while it's fermenting um, we'll put it up in the loft at some point but uh, we definitely will need to move it out of the way although that's not completely in the way but um, yeah so like this manure spreader would not fit through that gate at all like we could get the tractor through it but those big tires sticking out like that not a chance that it was going to fit in that gate so um end of day i think this is a good solution kind of realistic more realistic anyways than Uh, most realistic I could come up with. So let's go ahead and get these bales kind of put underneath this little thing here and then we'll go and drive and check out the uh, the corn. And if that field is ready to be harvested once it's done, what we'll probably end up doing is um, maybe doing the mulching. And since we have the sensor, the lime, and fertilizing, and then talk about the field plan. So... Um, yeah, there we go. So, I think we've talked about what we're going to plant, and I, I, I know, I think what I want to do for some realism is kind of some crop rotating, although it's not maybe the greatest, because like right now, um, we have our grass field, currently barley, nothing, nothing, and corn. And I think what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to rotate, and it's going to go um, like a clock. So, like, we have corn here. So this field will get planted barley when it's time for barley. This will get planted corn. This will be soybean. And then with the extra field, um, I don't know. On this map, there aren't any extra crops, so I'm not exactly sure what it will be. If I want to do maybe um, 
maybe sorghum or something. Once we have pigs, that that next extra crop will be known. But I think I'm going to just do so two soybean fields, a corn and a barley, and we're just going to rotate like a clock as best as we can. Um, trouble we're going to run into though is like harvesting. Um, like we harvest in November, but going to plant in a different month. So this idea may fail me, probably will fail me, um, because like we have barley planted in a field that already was in, or maybe we don't move the barley, we keep the barley where it is, and then those three fields kind of just rotate between soybean, corn, soybean and corn or something. But that's kind of what I'm going to try to do. Um, I know every plan we've had has changed, but hopefully this plan is going to at least go for the next, this planting season. Um, which I believe we got to start planting some of that stuff in March. So let's go drive out by the corn. That's not our, ooh, see these signs? I never see them. I should have my eyes checked, maybe. All right, so let's go drive up by our corn. I think it is grass. I think it's this right here. Is this our corn? Let's shut down, hop out. This is our corn. Um, terrible nitrogen on here. It's ready to harvest. So yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna do that. We're gonna harvest this corn. And not worry about planting the grass until next month. And I think what we'll do in this episode is we'll harvest the corn. And then we will um, lime and furt that big field as best as we can. And we'll mulch. We'll mulch. We'll furt. We'll mulch, lime, and furt. In this episode. And harvest. Um, and this is all assuming the harvesting doesn't take forever but you know with the awesomeness of editing I can do you know time lapses and jump cuts and whatnot so um, I think that is the plan um, I am going to probably hook this back up to the first spreader I will use the <laughs> I'm using this muck it's funny that the cows still have a muck pick or the pigs have a muck pick still um, but yeah so and I'm just using it for a little storage All right, so there we go let's pop this back on here I'll use the deer the JD with the uh, tipper bucket um, And it'll also do the mulching and all of that stuff. This will do the liming and furting. And of course, the uh, corn harvester. Uh, harvester with the corn header. We're going to have to jump or repair, I should say, the, uh, the header here. I don't know how big of a header it is. It looks like it's going to unfold and be pretty good. Maybe six meter. Which, you know, starting game doing corn, I'll take that, right? So it's 844. We, we'll get this done before the rain. That I'm not worried about. Um, so let's go ahead and repair. Spending money today, look at that. I'm not even freaking out about it. But I'm not too worried. I know we're low on money. We have a little bit we can sell, but we we do have a lot of wheat, and we'll have this corn we can sell, which should make us some money. Um, that So that's okay. And then on top of that, we can probably sell some of the barley. We have more than enough barley. Probably We can even probably sell some of the silage. The other thing I'm thinking about doing, though, is because we do have... Um, all that hay that I want to get eaten before I start throwing TMR in. I might buy a cow or two. Um, but I've been trying to think about how I want to do it. Like, do I just want to buy it from the pen and do, like, transportation fee? Or do I actually want to lease out a 
animal trailer and like go pick up the cows. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not sure how I want to do that, but it looks like this is. Let's take a look at how big this corn header is, because it looks fairly large. Um, yeah, it's six meters. So that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and um, turn it on. And let's get harvesting. So this is a pretty fairly large field. Uh, I could throw a worker on here and um, do the seeding of the grass field. But, you know, I think we'll do this. And while we're harvesting, we can also talk about, like, the other goals I have. So, we need to be able to, like, we can support what we have in cows with that one field for now. Even if we go up, I think we have five. Like, if we go up to seven, eight, nine cows, that field is good. Maybe even ten. Like, I, I f did not check my cheat sheet that I have um, on how much cows eat per month. But I think that field, doing like a hay and a silage and then a third cut of whatever, um, should be all right to support that many. So if we want to keep growing it up or even move into like pigs or anything, we're going to need another grass field. Um, although pigs don't eat any of the grass stuff. We will, if we do pigs, we might need another arable field. I don't I have, I'm not sure I understand pigs. So that's kind of one of the purchases is we're going to need another grass field. Some other purchases I have written down here that we're going to need is um, we try to buy, and I think I'm going to buy the lime for its spreader. Um, that, that's going to be bought on. Leasing it is foolish. We seem to need it a lot towards the end of the year. With grass field, you're going to be doing some of that stuff more often. So, and it's not that pricey. So it's like 10 grand or something like that. So that's another thing we've got to purchase. Uh, we have to purchase a big bag hook for the front of the front loader. That's not that pricey. We'll get that. And we need that so that we can transport mineral feed back, a big bag of mineral feed so that we can start mixing TMR. Also, we can use that big hook to move our leftover bags or whatever out of the way. So that's another thing. The cedar we have to buy. Um, I like the one that we've been leasing. You know, so that's in the 40s. I don't know if we're going to have enough to buy. Like, I know we won't have enough to buy the land. Um, although, realistically, when buying things, people take out loans. Like, farmer's going to buy a tractor, you might take out a loan. Now, um, land loans, loans on land, are harder to get. Banks don't always like to lend on land because um, things that owners can do to land could cause the land to become devalued or harder to sell in the case of um, a foreclosure or something like that. So I know taking a loan out to buy land is not the most realistic. Um, however, it, it's something that, that we could look into. I'd rather think about that loan area around more around, like, equipment. But we'll see. Um, other equipment that we might need, I think we have, like, we have, um, you know, maybe to upgrade. Well, we're going to have to repair our tractors at some point they're starting to get lower um, so those things will need to be done we'll also think about possibly buying the crop sensor or that field sensor uh, we need to probably upgrade our slurry to have um, the proper sensors for the slurry we need to get a um, weeding sprayer that has the proper sensor, which is pricey. So there's a lot of purchases. So we're still going to be leasing in the future. 
um, because at the end of the year, when we sell everything, we're not going to have enough money to buy everything. But I think we'll be able to buy a couple of those things that we need um, and go from there. And I think our long goal is if we can get a few more cows, we'll get a little bit more milk, we'll be able to sell the milk, and we'll have a little more fur and a little bit more slurry. Like, I'm going to check and see how much slurry we have. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have enough to do this whole field, so I'm probably not going to use slurry on it. But at some point, our manure and slurry should be enough to at least do the fields some of the times, which will save us money on solid fertilizer. So, you know, being able to have a little bit more milk to sell. Uh, the other thing I've been thinking about doing is a, is a greenhouse. Um, here it's October. November, at the end, when we decide November is done, I'm going to actually turn the gardens off because where I live, you're not going to be growing anything in November. November, even October, you're not going to be growing anything. Um, but I am also thinking about maybe placing down more gardens or a greenhouse. I don't know if those gardens, if there's like, I didn't look and see if there's a mod where you can put more of those gardens down. Um, I do know that you can put a small greenhouse or a greenhouse. Because I think if we could get more berries, I, I like the jam. And if we have a greenhouse, I, I would feel realistic gameplay that we could keep strawberries growing all year round with a greenhouse. Um, where we would fit it on the farm property and all of that, I haven't explored. Um, but it's just something I've been thinking about. Ways to generate more of income while we're growing and building up and to me it's getting more milk getting more chickens for eggs and figuring out a way to get more strawberries to keep our jam moving like is we're gonna sell jam here probably next month or in a couple months jam I think we can keep for a couple months we don't have to um, sell like like the eggs we don't have a lot of eggs which is why I haven't sold them yet. But, like, if we had a whole pallet of eggs, I would be selling them every month. Because that eggs don't keep, right? They're something that can spoil. Jam preserves, they keep for a while. Um, which is why I'm not in a hurry to sell it. But, I will soon. Alright, so that's kind of where I'm thinking my thoughts. I'm going to go ahead and put this in a time lapse. Um, so I'll see you when I am I'm done with this.
harvest is done wasn't too bad even though as you can see the yields look terrible this field will need a lot of care um, but it will be a bunch of corn to sell I think in January is the best time so that job is done um, we are going to fold up Better. and we're gonna put this away and then oh we should wash it yeah I think we should watch it wash it too we'll do that we'll wash everything up put it away for the season and then we'll run sprint back to the field and get the grain stored and then we will and then we will mulch, lime, and fertilize this field. Um, this episode's getting a little long, so I think I'm going to do some of that in a time lapse, and then we're going to probably end it around there. Um, just flew right by the hose. So we're going to wash up, and then we'll probably end it right around there. So I have decided I am going to buy two more cows and I'm going to just do it from the little prompt. I'm not going to mess around with leasing anything. I'll take the delivery fee. It'll be okay. Um, so I think we'll be alright with that. Alright, this is all washed up. We will put it away and call it a season for the harvester. And then, like I said, we'll sprint back. We'll store that grain. And then I will get to mulching. And then maybe we'll, when mulching is done... Um, maybe I'll just do it in some jump cuts and some time lapses and see where we're at. But we are starting to get a little long on the video. So let's go ahead and lower... Detach. No, I want to fold. Detach. Back up a little bit. Turn it off. Jump out. All right. We're going to sprint back to the field. I will um, see you once I got the grain stored and we're mulching. We are mulching. So I think what I'm going to do is just do a time lapse, but with jump cuts. We'll do a little bit of a time lapse with some of the mulching and then some of the liming and some of the furring and go with that and call it an episode. So yeah, I think uh, we're pretty productive. I think we'll be able to move into um, November once this is done and start episode 9 fresh in November. So I think we're making progress. I feel like we're getting past some of these hurdles of starting on a new map and all of the unseen work starting to get done. Um, 
so I think we're making good progress. I think, I hope the plan we have is kind of the plan we can stick with for a, at least a season or two um, until we can really start moving. And again, like I said, I think I'm gonna buy, just buy the cows from the prompt. I think I'm gonna go with two, maybe three um, cows. We have a lot of food, a lot of hay. I'd like to get that hay eaten up before I worry about feeding TR TMR in there. Um, so, and before I can start mixing TMR, I know I need to get a hook and some mineral feed and all sorts of stuff. So, yep, we'll we'll leave it there. We'll we'll start the time lapse, um, and then I'll talk to you when we're all sorted out.
are done with all the field work. So now what we have to do is let's go buy a couple cows. And then we'll probably... I can show where I'm thinking about putting a couple gardens. Um, they do have these gardens. You don't have to do the greenhouses. So it's nice you can put a couple more of these gardens down. Although I'm not sure if these gardens are going to be enough even to keep this production running. But end of day, I think we're in good shape. So let's go ahead and buy a couple cows. We're going to go with 12 month olds by two. We're going to buy three. And we're going to buy three cows. So there we go. That should help us get a little bit more milk a little bit quicker. Um, as you can see, the manure pit is starting to fill with a little bit of manure. So this is working. Happiness. And if we just come over here and on the other side. So we have these two gardens. They're not very fast. Let's take a look at them again real quick. Um, they're producing 384 cycles, so that's like 384, oh, sorry, strawberries. 384 times two, so there's over 700 liters strawberries a month. Two of them, 1,400, not a whole lot. So I was thinking I could place a couple more down. I can place a couple in here along this little patch of grass here. It kind of fit in. Um, and of course I could place some more over in this area but it would get a little hard to water them because we'd have to get the watering tank over here somehow and this is a tight spot and we don't want to drive over crops, but it's a possibility. We could put some more on this gravel, like pretend like we're going to dig up the gravel, but then we take up some of the turning around and yard space. I'm not too sure I want to do that. So, but that's kind of the plan of where I would put more. Again, I'm going to turn these strawberries off here and at the end of November because realism. And that's all I have. So let's go check the chickens. Maybe we'll buy some chickens in November. Let's see. We have 31 chicken. Um, let's check out chicken. We have 31 chicken. 10 are newborn. 7 months. 8 months. We don't really have more coming next month. So yeah, I think maybe we should buy 10 chicken too right now and just... Uh, no, I want to wait. We'll wait. So, yep, so that's all I got. Um, we will call it a day there. I have to go fix the slurry tank that I knocked pretty good. So we'll go do that now. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe down below. Have a great day.